Give me your uh, first Corinthians 11. Second Corinthians 11. Start at verse 3. He said he don't know. Bring it out. We're going to show you. The book of first Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it out. But I fear, lest, my, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve. So you know how the serpent treat Eve, how the devil treat Eve, right? Uh -huh. The same trigger that the devil used was the same trigger your enemy was going to use. Now watch the comparison. Read. Through disability. Through his subtlety, meaning his trickery. Read. So your mind shall be corrupt from the simplicity that is in Christ. So our minds are corrupt in the simplicity of Christ for the simple fact who taught us the Bible? Our enemy. Read. Read. For if he, for if he that cometh preaches another Jesus. Who came on earth preaching another Jesus? Read up. Who came on earth preaching this? The Bible been here 3,000 years. We've been knowing the description of Christ. We've been knowing how Christ looked. So who came preaching another Jesus? Our enemies. The so-called white man. That's right. He came and taught you that he was Christ. That he was God. That Look. the prophets are white. That the angels are white. Read. For if he that comes and preaches another Jesus, the same way the pastor do every Sunday, going and preach another Jesus, read, whom we have not preached, we, our forefathers, never was taught this. Right. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Read. Or if ye receive another spirit, that's how you receive another spirit. Read the up. spirit you're going to receive with this, gay marriage is okay. Gay marriage is okay. You telling me, bubble. You telling me one day you woke up and gay marriage was legalized in 50 states. All 50 states. Now let me ask you something, boys. They say our votes matter, right? Did they ask for your vote? Oh, they did. Hell no, they ask for your vote because our vote don't matter. It don't matter what we say. Long as we they service, we good. But when you talk against them, when you try to stand up for your people, guess what? Now you a terrorist. Now you a racist. Now you are. Uh, you uh, got hatred for the uh, white yeah. man. Uh -huh. It ain't that we got hatred. We gonna tell our people the truth. That's yeah. right. Read what you got. Which ye have not received. Which you have not received. Or another gospel. Or another gospel. Read. Which ye have not accepted. Ye might well bear with him. So look, our people gotta understand. We God chosen people. That's we the Israelites. Right. It's something way more required of us. They just uh getting a good job, going to college, getting a degree. Man, you got a plan. Man, you got a kingdom to take. That's right. right. You got a kingdom to take. Now watch this. Give me Psalm 49 and 11. You know, you remember how I said that they call the names after they sell, right? Because right. you know the land of Africa was not called the land of Africa, right? What was it called? You know what Africa was called before it was named Africa? Why was it named Africa? Did we got that post of board? Where you got them? I got it. Uh, okay. Okay. So look, read what you got. Watch this, uh, Bob. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. The inward part, inward thought, is that their houses shall continue forever. So now, the inward thought, meaning the mindset of the so-called white man, is that his kingdom is going to rule forever. When it's already prophesied, this is Babylon the Great. And Babylon the Great, great is going to be destroyed. Guess how fast this place is going to be destroyed. Guess how fast this place is going to be destroyed. Within oh 60 minutes. That's right. 60 minutes. They got a TV show called 60 Minutes. Right. That's all it's going to take for God to do his work. That's right. Read. And they're dwelling places to all generations. They're dwelling places to all generations. From generation to generation. Read. They call their land. They call the land that they overcome and take. Read. After. Their own name. After their own name, because the land of Ham, which is called Africa today, comes from a white man named Leo Scipios Africanus, who uh -huh. defeated Hannibal in the Second Punic War and named the land of Ham Africa. First it was called Africanus. Now it's called Africa. America is named after America's best preacher, who was an Italian map maker, who conquered Central, North, and South America. And he named this place the Americas because it was called the uh, uh, Manifest Destiny. Right. Manifest Destiny because we know who land this is. Who land this is? Who land this is? The Indians. The Indians. The Indians. This is not the white man land. 
and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Now, Bobby, you know he chose Israel. Right. When Isaiah 41, uh, 44 1, he said, O Jacob, my servant in Israel, whom I have chosen. Right. The Bible is plain. That's right. Read. All this, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. He said, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. But watch Ezra. Read. Because. Thou madest the world for our sake. He made the what? The world for our sake. You know who he made the world right. for? You know who he made the world for? Our sakes. That's uh -huh. right. We supposed to be ruling this world in righteousness, but we sinned against our God, so we sent our enemies against us to get us back in line. Oh, right. You went captivity. No, you didn't read? Show them in the Bible. Read up. You gotta read the Bible, bro. Don't go, go, don't go on your feelings. Don't go on your emotions. Oh, wait, start wait, at Second Ages. We gonna start at Second Ages, chapter six, verse fifty-four. Read up. Read. Read. Teach up. It's the book of okay. Second Ages, chapter six, verse fifty-four. Read up. Second Ages, six, verse fifty-four. Read. And after these, oh, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So yeah, everybody come at from of, of Adam. Read. Of him come we all. So we all come from Adam. Read. That's right. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. But guess who he chose? The Israelites. That's right. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. You see how special we are, Bubba? Right. God made this whole earth for the Israelites. Right. Read. As for the other people. Now it's getting to the other people. It's getting to the other people, Bubba. Read. You know, Which also come from come of Adam. Guess what, Bubba? They come from Adam too. Uh -huh. But watch this. Read. Read it up. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Oh, oh, oh God, Bubba right. heard me. Come a little closer, Bubba. Come a little closer, Bubba. What do you say? As for the other people. people. Now, as for the other people. The whites, the Africans, the Arabs, the East Indian, the Chinese, read the up. Japanese, Man, read. Which also Lord. come of Adam. So they also come of Adam, read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They what? They are nothing. They what? They are nothing. What about the white man? They are nothing. What about the African man? What? They are nothing. What about the Chinese man? They Oh, nothing. What about the East right. Indian man? They oh, nothing. You hear God? That's right. God said ain't nothing. That's right. But what? But be like unto sinners. That's what that is. That's how you feel about it. But watch this, Bubba. Hold up. Read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. If you had a big bucket of water and a little drop fall out, would you care about that little drop of water that fell out? No. Why? Because you still got a wood. A whole bucket of water. That's Read. right. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathens. These what? These heathens. What he calling another nation's bubble? These heathens. That's right. Read. God, Which God. have ever Jesus been Christ reputed as nothing. The word reputed means reputation. They always had a reputation as nothing. Read. Have begun to be lords over us. Bubba, they lords over us, though. Why? Because we broke God commandments. That's right. And to devour us. Uh-huh. But we, the, the people. But we, the people, the Israelites, read. Whom thou hast called thy firstborn. The Most High called us his firstborn, read. Thy only begotten and thy fervent lover. Are given unto their hands. So we was giving it to the hands of our enemy because of our disobedience against God. Read. If the world now be made for our sake, if the world was made for the Israelite sakes, read. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the Lord? Why don't we have no inheritance with the world? We don't have our own land. We ain't got our own bank. We ain't got our own schools. We ain't got our own nothing. But we got to go to our enemies for it. Child support. Anything we need, we got to go to our enemies. Yes, black woman, you got to go to your enemy for food stamps and Section 8. That's why the damn black man ain't in the house, and that's why he won't marry your ass. It's time for us to be real with our people, and we going to give it to you straight wrong. 
Your pals ain't doing nothing but lying to you and collecting the hell out your money. That's right. We don't want your money. All we want you to do is stop for 10 minutes and listen to the word of God. Because believe it or not, you people that are driving up and down Park Avenue right now in Airways, you have been marked with the word of God. And if you do not start to change your life according to this Bible, affliction is going to come to you. It's our time. It's our time. How you doing, man? Yeah, I know. Y'all know we doing. Showing our people who they are according to the Bible. Our nationalities ain't black, ain't Hispanics, ain't Native Americans. We are God's chosen people. We are called the Israelites. The blacks are from the tribe of Judah. The same person that comes. We got, have y'all ever uh, th uh, thought to yourself like, why are we the best athletes? Why are we the best entertainers? Why are we the best at everything? You never ask yourself that? You want to know why? Because we got Christ's blood running through our veins. Literally. Give me Hebrews 7 and 14. Bring it out, huh? Watch this, y'all. Watch this. And they wonder why we the best at everything. They wonder why we the best at everything. They wonder why we can do anything. Yeah. So look, give me that. Hebrews 7, verse 14. Hebrews 7 and 14. But it is evident. They said it's evident. Like when they uh, first pour concrete and you put your name now. It's evident that what? That our Lord. That our Savior what? Sprang out of Judah. Man, our Savior sprang out of Judah. And what color is the tribe of Judah? Give me Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Because we got we we going to give precept upon precept, land upon land, real little and third little. Y'all see how the enemy left, didn't he? You see how the enemy left, right? Why? Because he was getting beat down with the scriptures. Yeah, right. Everything that he asked us, we went to the Bible to confirm. And guess what? He found out that this is a black, uh, uh, the Israelite history book. Yeah, right. No other nation on this planet is supposed to have this book. This is our history book. Every nation on this planet Earth got a history book, but we don't. What you got? What do they mean with that? What? 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 I mean, give me uh, the Bible speak. Everybody else. If they don't love. Uh -huh, watch this. It ain't about everybody having enemies. It's about one particular group having an enemy. And watch what they God say about them. Watch this. Start at verse 47, Mark. Deuteronomy 28, 47. Deuteronomy 28 and 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Meaning your God, since you don't serve your God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, mean? For the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things, what we gotta do? Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemy. We gonna serve who? Thy enemy. We gonna serve who? Thy enemy. And who is our enemies? Every nation is outside these people on this side. Right. right? So guess what, the white man your enemy. The African man, your enemy. The Chinese man, your enemy. The, uh, the East Indian man, your enemy. Every nation on this planet Earth, besides the nation of Israel, that is your enemy, and they had you in chains and shackles. What about our own enemy? Ain't about what you want. It's about what God wants. Okay. You see what I'm saying? We got to stop thinking of what we want. We got to start to think and understand what God wants from us. Right you see what I'm saying? God wants something from us. What do God want from us? Read. Jeremiah 14 and verse 2. Watch this. To the morning. Now we finna go to the color of Judah. Read. And the gates thereof language. Y'all know what the gate means? Back then, the, and, and our gate was what? The leaders and the elders of the people. Right now, who are our leaders? Al Shabna, Jesse Jackson. Guess what? They have failed our people. They have failed our people. They ain't doing enough for our people. They have never told our people that they're Israelite. Jesse Jackson told you in 1985 that your nationality was African American and it's two different continents and the name of two different white men. It's time for us to wake up and learn history. It's time for us to wake up and really understand the words that's coming out this Bible. You have enemies. They, your, your enemies is called the EU. The European Union. Give me in the Psalms 83 verse 1. They show our people that all nations came together in one consent to destroy your history and to take away your nationality and your heritage. Watch this. Give me Psalm chapter 83. What you got? 
Oh, you do look at that. Yeah. You know what that was talking about? You know what Christ was talking about? You know what Christ was talking about? Oh, Tell me, brother. Hey. <laughs> Give me that in Matthew where Christ said, Love thy enemy. Tell me. Give me that in Matthew. Give me that in Matthew. Psalms 83 and verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. You heard David, King David said, Don't keep your silence no more, God. Read. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. He said, Don't hold your peace no more and don't be still no more. Read. For lo, thy enemy. That what? Thy enemy. That what? Thy enemy. Do what? Amen. Has made a tumult. What's a tumult? A gathering, an assembly. How did, how did they do it now? The EU. The European Union, the United Nations. And it's Matthew 5, y'all. I think it's by, uh, verse 40, uh, 40 what? 44. Now let's get Matthew 45 and 44. You come on this side. You hold it. Now you read Matthew 5 and 44. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 44. Watch this. But I say unto you, love your enemy. Do what? Love your enemy. You probably think they're I talking about the white man. He probably think they're talking about the Chinese man. <laughs> Guess what they're talking about? <laughs> Guess what they're talking about? Tell me. Give me a little Leviticus Tell 19, me. verse 17 first. Check it out. I'm going to come with that tree, bro. Go to Leviticus 19 and 17. And then go to 1 Samuel 18, you verse 29. Right. This is the Don't book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Now we got to see who your brother is, read. Thou shalt any, in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Now it says you got to rebuke your neighbor, meaning correct your anger. This is what we do when we come out and teach, read. And not suffer sin upon him. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the neighbor of thy people. Read that part of Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So now, we get into the power where it says the children of thy people. Who are thy people? These people that's on this side. So let's see what happened between two men from the tribe of Judah. All right? Let's see what happened between two men from the same tribe. Watch this. Give me 1 Samuel 18, verse 29. Watch this. 1 Samuel 18, verse 29. Listen to this. And, Paul, and Saul was yet a man. Watch this, listen to this, read. And Saul was yet the more afraid of David. So you remember the, the, the story of Saul and David? How Saul, King Saul wanted to slew King David, but he never could, why? Because the Spirit of God was on King David and left uh, King Saul. Watch this, read. And Saul, the, and Saul, the, read it right, read it right. And Saul, the, Read it right, watch this. And, and, and Saul, because David's enemy. Saul became what? Became David's enemy. His what? His enemy. His what? His enemy. Read. Continually. Guess what? They are the same people. But they need to say they became what? Enemies. That's what Christ was talking about. Love your enemy, meaning your brother. That's why Leviticus is saying, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, but thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. He ain't talking about no white man, no Chinese man. Hell no. But you wanna know what it poses? You know what it do say about uh, our enemies? It said be at peace with all men. You see what I'm saying? We pose it. That's why it says be wise as a serpent and harmless as a door. You gotta know how to walk in captivity. You see what I'm saying? We, this ain't hatred right here. It's called truth. You know what I'm saying? When a lot of people hear it, they'll be like, damn, they hate white people. Nah, we don't hate white people. God hate white people. Hey, hey, sometimes we are our own enemies. Yeah, we, you see that on TV every day, old school. You just read it. We just read it. In Leviticus 19, old school. Look, look, look. If we fulfill Leviticus 19, old school, and sit up there and say, you know what, hey, you, you are old to burn the command. So you are there, you see two young dudes about to get into it. You old enough in there, you got mo you got respect over her. You know what I'm saying? You be like, hey, ho, ho, ho. But you ain't supposed to hate your brother. And then guess what? Now since we got knowledge of the Bible, you will show them the scripture. Right. Let me show you what Leviticus 19, 17 say, your brother. All right, what you got? Am, am I my worst enemy? You can be. You can be. We, we are. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. 
please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.